65 ended up being a crossroads for an Indiana State Police trooper after a violent crash, but his love for the job kept him motivated over these last four years. I've always wanted to be an Indiana State trooper. That's, that's my dream. And it's taken four years to get back to a spot where Master Trooper Brian Snyder feels like he's supposed to be. On a winter night in March 2013, his world turned sideways and upside down, literally. It was snowing and we had the uh, interstate shut down in Johnson County. Trooper Snyder was investigating a crash on I-65, two miles north of Franklin around two o'clock in the morning, and he had blocked off the left lane. I saw a semi-truck driver move over from the slow lane, which I, well, that was where the traffic was flowing, uh, over into the fast lane, where the lane that I had blocked, and uh, hit my, you know, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get hit here, and it was right there, and I just tucked into my car and braced myself for impact. That impact, as the truck sideswiped his cruiser, would put Snyder into and out of the hospital for the next four years. It was awful. Um, you know, the, 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 the problems that we did, had to go through, my, me and my family, um, not knowing the future, not knowing if you're ever going to get better. A constant, excruciating pain. Honestly, I never thought that I was going to come back, especially when the doctor looked at me and said, it, it's, it, it, we, we don't know what's causing this nerve problem. It took nine surgeries and plenty of physical therapy. And now he has a plate in his back, two rods and six screws, and the all clear to return to full police duty. My number one goal was to be healthy again and not have pain. And my number two goal was to be back working again. The truck driver who hit Snyder that night stopped for just five minutes with his hazard lights flashing and then for an unknown reason just pulled away. That truck driver has never been found. Along I-65, Mark Mullins, RTV6.